we go. We're talking with Adrian Gonzalez, the opening of the Gonzalez Sports Academy. And uh, Adrian, I was just talking to Edgar about it, how important it was for you guys to put a training facility like this in this region, in the South Bay. Talk about that. Yeah, I mean, you know, I was uh, telling a lot of people that when I was in high school, I had to go to La Jolla uh, to train with Dean Brinham up there by Torrey Pines. And, uh, you know, we had uh, we had to go other places. So being able to to give that ability to anybody from the South Bay, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're open to everybody, too. We're not just uh, limited to the South Bay either, you know. So, But just be able to give it to San Diego, the South Bay, and everybody around us to come out and train and really become uh, the better, the best they can be at their sport is, is, is uh, you know, the goal we have in mind. So hopefully uh, that will come become a reality once we open the doors. Boy, the athletic growth in this region. I was just thinking about Eastlake winning the Division One title, and that's something a South Bay team had never been able to do. And, you know, I see the, the volleyball courts out here, and, and maybe you could get a little bit of that rolling down here because that's considered North County, San Diego, a stronghold. Yeah, well, hopefully, you know, we can we can continue to uh, bridge volleyball. is doing a great job here, so hopefully they can, uh, you know, bring bring along a couple championships. You know, we got the, the Parkview Little League kids that won the won the, college, that won the Little League World Series. Uh, you know, they're from down here, so, you know, we got, we got a lot of good things going on here in South Bay, so we're excited about that, and hopefully uh, we can build off of that. Let's talk a little baseball here. Uh, some exciting moves in the last couple of weeks for your San Diego Padres. What are your thoughts on bringing in a guy like John Garland, for example? Well, I'm excited. I think he's a great pitcher. He's a guy that uh, is going to give you some great innings. Uh, pitch into the sixth inning almost every game. So, you know, he's definitely a guy you want to have on your team, and uh, I'm happy about that position. How about bringing Scott Harrison back? Not only he, that opens up Chase to move to third base, so you'll be fielding a lot of throws from this year. Hopefully not too many in the dirt. And then, of course, that uh, Jerry Harrison signed as a free agent as well. A lot more depth and flexibility for the team now. Yeah, I think we, you know, we're going to have a solid bench. Uh, we're going to have a lot of depth. We're going to be able to move around a lot and, and uh, play the right guys against the right pitcher. So uh, I think our team uh, is looking stronger. I know that there was a lot of uncertainty for yourself in the winter. Now that you see these moves, you're starting to get a pretty good feel that this team is going to try and make a little bit of a run here this year. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the goal. You know, we're positioning ourselves to, to, be in, to be in a place where, you know, we can start from the get-go and really build from that. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can get to a good start in April. Well, Adrian, congratulations. The place looks terrific. Best of luck and success with the whole family with this. Thank you. Appreciate it.